Thanks for tuning into our video, How to Change Rotation on V and VQ Cart Kit. Before we get started, there are differences between the two we want to make sure you're aware of. Standard V Kit has solid pressure plates, standard cam ring, and is a 12 vane rotor, whereas the VQ has two piece pressure plates, flex plates, seal packs underneath them, standard cam ring, and a 10 vane rotor. The veins for both V and VQ have small intra veins. Now that we know the differences, let's get started. The first kit we will be showing you how to change is the V. It is a little easier to change the rotation on than the VQ. Make sure you check your rotation before starting. With the cartridge kit standing up, loosen the two screws holding the kit together. Before removing the screws, lay the cartridge kit on its side so nothing falls out while changing rotation. Fully remove the screws and pins. Once the screws and alignment pins have been removed, slide off the pressure plates and swap them. When we remove the plates, what happens if the rotor fell out of the ring and a few of the veins came out? Don't worry if this happens, it is easy to put them back together. Make sure you have gathered all of the loose parts. Now let's go over getting the cam ring, rotors, and veins back together so we can complete the rotation change. We are going to set the pressure plate with the hub flat and install the alignment pins back into the plate. On the cam ring, there is an arrow to indicate rotation. Set this back on the plate with the new direction that you want the cartridge kit to be. You will want to notice that the rotation is viewed from the shaft end of the unit. Pick up the rotor and check around the outside. It should also have a directional arrow. You will want to make sure that this matches with the cam ring arrow and set it inside of the cam ring. Next, the veins have a tapered edge to straight edge on one side and a cutout area on the other side for an intervein. It needs to be installed with a sharp edge leading rotation or going the same direction as the arrows. When installing the veins, they should move in the slot freely. Set them in and push them down until they bottom out. After all of the veins have been installed, you can now install the pressure plates. It should just slide over the location pins. Push down on the plate to make sure it is flush against the cam ring and install the two screws. You will want to lightly tighten the screws. Now slide the cartridge kit into the housing to align the plates and ring before fully snugging up the screws. Once you have completed the rotation change and the cartridge kit has been properly assembled, you can install it back into the pump and bolt it back together.
Now that we have shown you how to change rotation on a V kit, let's change the rotation on a VQ. It has the same function as the V, but as we mentioned earlier, it does have some different parts. This can make it tricky if they get turned or mixed up. You will want to be careful when changing rotation. Remove the cartridge kit out of the unit and set it down flat on the hub of the outlet plate, just like the V cartridge kit. You will want to loosen the two screws holding it together. Before removing the screws, completely lay the cartridge kit on its side and then remove the screws. Keeping the screws slightly in the kit will keep it from sliding apart, especially if it is full of oil. Remove the screws and slide off the top of the inlet plate, leaving the flex plate in place. Under the inlet plate, there are a set of seal packs. If they fall out, they can be easily reinstalled without damage. Hold the cam ring and the flex plate so they will not move and slide off the outlet plate. Make sure you leave the flex plate in place. You should be left with the cam ring assembly sandwiched between the flex plates. You can do one of two things to change rotation at this point. Either spin the cam ring assembly 180 degrees and reinstall the pressure plates from their current position, or swap the position of the port plates from their original disassembly position. You cannot do both procedures. You have to pick one or the other. After the parts have been switched around, you can install the screws and lightly tighten them. Leave them a little loose so you can align the cart kit in the housing before fully tightening the screws down. Now these screws are just like the V kit. Hold the kit together during installation and it does not have to be extremely tight. Set the cart kit upright and slip the inlet housing or cover over the cartridge kit until it slides over the entire thing. When it bottoms out, it can be removed. You have to align the plates with the cam ring. Now you can tighten the screws. And that is how you change the rotation on a VQ cartridge kit. Now we can reinstall the kit back into the unit. If you have any questions or trouble changing rotation, call, email, or live chat us today. We'll walk you through it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.